So, the absolute value of minus 2 is 2, right? And we will multiply that with the 3. So, the answer will be 6. Ta-da! I told you the absolute value would be real. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Today, I'm going to show you how to figure out the absolute value. Absolute value, you will be done in a snap. Let me show you. For example, we have the absolute bars, minus 2, and then absolute bars. Then, how will we figure that out? First, we will create a number line. And, as a regular number line, we will put the zero mark right here, in the middle. And, we will see that minus 2 is should be right to the left side. So, minus 1 right here, minus 2 right here. And so, this is what I'm looking for. And so, I'll see how far away is it from the zero. I see that it's one lap, two lap. That means two. Two laps away from zero. So, then... Absolute, absolute bar minus 2, absolute bar, is equal to 2. See, that's so easy. Now, what if we have a minus in front of this absolute bar? What will we do then? Then, we will think with, without that. As I just shown you that the absolute value of minus 2 is 2, right? And what we will do is that... We will put this minus that's front of it that's front of the absolute bar in front of the result that I got of the absolute value of minus two. That is now let's say that we don't have the uh, minus right there. What if we have a number right there instead of a sign? Like for example the number three. What will we do then? So the absolute value of minus two is two, right? And we will multiply that with the three. So the answer will be six. Ta-da! That's the absolute value of three, absolute, absolute value bar, minus two, absolute bar. Now let me show you another example. Okay? For example, we have absolute value six. No minus sign right here. Absolute bar right here. And we have like a, a two right here. Then what will we do? Let's create a number line. Put the zero mark in the middle and we will go to the right side because it's positive six not negative six so it's one two three four five six this is what we're looking for and as you can see it's one two three four five six laps away from zero so it's basically the distance between the zero and the number that we're looking for now i'm going to tell you that why do we need absolute value actually Engineers also need absolute value. For example, let me give you an example, that there is a valley, okay, there's a valley, and that valley is above the sea level, and the sea level, the sea le of seabed, and the seabed is 92 away. So then, that is why we actually need the absolute value because this is the absolute value that 92 meters or miles or whatever 92 in depth actually 92 in depth is the absolute value of how high the uh, valley is above the sea level the sea bed so i so this is how the engineers can use it i hope that you guys learned about absolute value and i hope that you all understood how you can do it in such a quick way assalamu alaikum